Now all new at 5, our state sex offender registry lets police keep track of sex offenders and lets you know if a sex offender lives in your neighborhood. Yeah, but soon an Ohio panel will vote on making some major changes that most victim support groups are fighting. News 5's Paul Kiska spoke with one of those groups today and joins us live with what's at stake, Paul. Well, Frank and Lee, victims advocates say they'll be keeping a close eye on this upcoming vote. You'll still be able to check Sheriff Department websites like this one to see where registered sex offenders live in your neighborhood. But the Ohio Criminal Justice Recodification Committee, which revises criminal codes, will decide whether to make changes to the registry. The committee calls the changes common sense changes that they say will still allow for community safety. Two changes stand out. For starters, low-level sex offenders can petition to have their names removed from sex offender lists like this one. As it stands now, those offenders have to be on the registry for at least 15 years. And the committee must vote whether to remove the residency requirement. In other words, sex offenders would be allowed to live near a school. It's very important for us to make sure that survivors are central to any decision about what to do around the sex offender registry. Katie Hanna, executive director of the Ohio Alliance to End Sexual Violence, told me today that the committee voting on the changes include judges, prosecutors, and public defenders. But she says victims should also be heard. And so any decision about what to do around the sex offender registry needs to include the voices and perspectives of survivors. Hannah says the Alliance for Victims will put together a group of victims who will give their input if the proposal goes before state lawmakers for a final vote. The Ohio Alliance to End Sexual Violence will submit a report to the legislature based on the recommendations and the voices of survivors. Now, that committee had a lengthy agenda when they met in Columbus today, but they were not able to get to the vote on the sex offenders registry. They'll meet again in a few weeks and try it then. Live in Cleveland, Paul Kiska, News 5.